This being my first record with the band, um, I felt a, a lot of pressure to come in and maintain, you know, a similar drumming style that would, you know, keep old fans happy as well as, you know, keep drummers like myself, you know, musicians, people that are into music for purposes other than just listening to it, you know, something that they could they could be impressed with or, or happy with too. Um, I mean, really, my my ultimate goal when, when writing anything is really just to uh, write something that's going to be appropriate for the song itself, you know, compliment the song or compliment the riffs or, you know, the vocals or whatever it is that's going on, um, you know, not not come in and, you know, do more than, than is really needed, not, you know, flash when you don't have to. As far as the actual drum sounds on the record, uh, Mark Lewis, he engineered the whole thing. Um, I think he did an absolutely killer job on the actual drum sounds themselves. He spent a good amount of time just, you know, miking them up, tuning them, pulling our hair out because we couldn't get them tuned right, pulling our hair out some more, and then finally arriving at what you hear on the record, which me personally, I'm super, super happy with. Thanks to Minel Symbols, uh, Tom and Drums, Dick Bird, uh, Axis Percussion, DB Drum Shoes, and I think that's it. I hope you guys all enjoy the record. It definitely helped me out a good bit recording it. And to all the fans, I hope you guys like it as much as I do. Had a good time recording it, and I'm definitely happy with the finished product. Drive it down, don't